We just received Maiten and Spot for Tarkov, but BSG also sneaked into it two new guns. First one is all-time Russian classic, the PPSH, also called Pepesha in my country. Second gun is called 1911, and that will probably make some Western weapons enthusiasts very happy. In this video I will go over pros and cons of those new guns, and I will also compare them to other weapons with similar role in Tarkov. I can tell you right now that both of those guns will be good to use next wipe, but don't get your hopes too high. Let's start with PPSH that use 7.62x25mm caliber, the same used in TT pistol. You can buy it from Praper Loyalty Level 2 for around 25k rubles. In Tarkov, gun is as good as ammo it can use, so let's have a look. Early game ammo with only 9 penetration value doesn't look that great, but thanks to very high rate of fire we should do fine versus someone using Paka that is class 2 armor. If you will face class 3 armor on your happy adventures, save your prayers or run. There is always option to go for the head or good old trusty leg meta, but that's not everybody's cup of tea. We know that with 12.6 some pistol ammo, mainly 9x18 and 9x19 caliber will get some buffs. I wouldn't be surprised to see some changes to this caliber too, but until then I don't see bright future for this gun in the endgame. 24 penetration for the best round is just too low. That is not the only problem that PPSH faces. At loyalty level 2 you will be able to buy 1901 VTS and from the quick look at stats I can tell you that this will be my early game weapon of choice. It was great last wipe and should do wonders in the next one until people will start rocking with good armors on a regular basis. Before I can get my hands on VTS I may get some cadre action. It's available from level 1 Praepor for nice price and every rounds are good enough. I included here silence at cadre that is not bad option too. Stats are fun, but let's look how it actually looks in game. One thing you can see right away is that annoying muzzle flash that obscures your screen and makes harder to follow your targets with PPSH. VTS, even though it should slower, has great recoil control. Keder has higher recoil, but as I mentioned, it's always an option before you can get your hands on VTS. To finish this comparison, let's have a look at ammo for those SMGs. As you can see, best rounds have similar stats. Have in mind that you can buy PPSH from Prepor at loyalty level 2. You can clearly see that 9x19 round is better than TT caliber at that time, and 9x19 round that is available from the get-go is not much worse. Just one thing, if you would like to go with 9x80s SMG mid-game, you'll have to use clean, not the Kedder. Kedder can't use PMM ammo. Ok, so the second new gun is 1911. You can buy it from Peacekeeper at loyalty level 2 for around $131, so around 15k rubles. This pistol uses new ammo caliber, the .45 APC, which is 11.43 x 23mm in size. At this moment there are only 2 rounds for this gun, something that will probably change with patch 12.6. From stats perspective, FMJ with 19 penetration and 72 damage looks quite good. That means you will be able to use this gun from level 10 if you will focus on leveling Peacekeeper. Here's the thing, let's look at some ammo options available for other pistols. Until level 15, when we can level up Prepor to loyalty level 2, we have okayish 9x18mm option and very close in stats 9x19mm option. So the question is, is 72 damage that important? For pistols, not really. It will be great for vector that should come with 12.6, but for sidearms there is almost no difference. No matter the round, headshots kill instantly and two shots into the chest will also make the job done for any pistol round. Looking at the best aim of all calibers, both 9x18 and 9x19 have superior options right now. Ok, so let's compare our pistol options at this stage of the game. Let's start with 9x19 that is clear winner for me. I picked Glock 17 here, but to be fair, Beretta will do just fine and you can start using it at level 1. Here you can also see one big drawback of 1911. For now we have only mags that can hold 7 bullets, so we have a very small margin of error. Glock has superior magazine sight of 17 bullets and much better stats than Colt. In theory you can buy it from Mechanic level 1, but you need euros for it and that is something you can get from Skirat level 2. From 9x18 I picked APS. It's ok gun, but I don't see much reason of using it when I can use Beretta or Glock. The last gun I pick is 5.7. It's a great gun that you can use safely even at endgame. As you can see it has superior stats compared to other pistols. When it comes to ammo it's similar story. With 37 penetration you can straight through face shields and even go against class 4 and maybe class 5 armor. To finish this off, let's look how those pistols will perform in game. Little surprise is that 1911 despite its big recoil have quite tight spread. Not sure why, but for some reason it feels like you can shoot as fast as other guns, despite the same fire rate. One thing that was also very noticeable was lower sensitivity compared to other guns when aiming down sight with cold. Glock and APS have high recoil, but if you try to time your shots, you should be very accurate with them. 
And here you can see again why 5.7 is such a strong pistol. For some reason recoil on this gun goes downwards, that means that after you start spraying at head level, all your other shots will easily hit chest, so you have much higher chance of dropping your enemy when in panic mode. To summarize, both of new guns look good as early game options. They may not be the best, but they will make the job done and variety is always welcome. For now we don't have any mods for them, but that will surely change. One promising thing is that 1911 has mod slots for trigger and hammer, so we may get next level modding with new patch. Sadly, as it stands right now, both new guns fall short after early game, but maybe with some hinted aim buffs this will also change. I can tell you that I will definitely give those guns a fair chance after the while. That's all in this one, if you like this video consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching and see you in raids.